Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to look at This Is The Life by Amy MacDonald. Uh, this song appeared on her first album, which was also called This Is The Life, back in 2007. The song is really simple to play, it only has four chords that just keep looping round. So the first of the chords we're going to need then is a C sharp minor. So for this you're going to do a A minor shape barred at the fourth fret. So place your first finger on the fourth fret and bar across the uh, top five strings. Then place your second finger on the fifth fret of the B string, your third finger on the sixth fret of the D string, and your little finger on the sixth fret of the G string. And for this you play from the fifth string down. Next you have an A major. So for this one you place your first finger on the second fret of the D string, your second finger on the second fret of the G string and your third finger on the second fret of the B string. And again play this one from the fifth string down. Okay, next we have uh, an E major. Now for this I'm going to leave out my first finger. I'm going to place my second finger on the first fret of the G string. My third finger then goes on the second fret of the A string and my little finger goes on the second fret of the D string. And again for this one play uh, all six strings. Okay so the reason I played the E like that rather than the more traditional way is because now we can take that shape and move it down and do another bar chord again at the fourth fret. This time it will be a G sharp major. And again for this one play all six strings. Okay, so the first thing to do is just to go through those chords and make sure you can change between them. Starting off with the C sharp minor, then just play that one for two beats, just doing down strums for each beat. Then the A, E, and then the G sharp. The song starts by muting out all of the strings by just lightly touching your fingers against them. And then it's going to play one bar of the strumming pattern that's then used throughout the rest of the song. So that pattern is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so you play one bar with just the strings being muted. You then go to your C sharp minor chord and you play exactly the same rhythm. Then go to the A chord, play exactly the same thing. Then to the E chord. And then to the G sharp. Okay, and then you just keep looping through those chords. And that's pretty much all there is to it for the uh, for the rhythm. There is also a little uh, lead section that I'll show you that comes in after the choruses. It goes like this. Okay. 
So this lead break is really simple. It just uses notes from the C major scale. You start with your first finger on the sixth fret of the G string, and you play six, eight, nine, six, six, eight, nine, all on the G string. Then you play the sixth fret four more times. Then eight, nine, six, six, eight, nine. So all together that is. You then play three more on the ninth fret. Move down onto the B string and play seven, nine, then twice on the ninth fret of the G string, then seven, nine, seven on the B string, and then finally nine, eight on the G string. Okay, so all together that gives you. Okay, so that lead break is played once after the first chorus and then twice after the second chorus. Right, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this lesson useful. If you liked it, please give me a little uh, thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to more of my videos and I will see you next time.